shorts. You stand at the edge of the town Bailron. Smoke and fire billow from the wood frame buildings. You see some people running, some caught in battle. A farmer tries to protect his produce from being engulfed. What do you want to do? I'm going to run full speed into battle and just go into rage when I get close enough. I'm going to ready an action to cast Scorching Ray. I'm going to chug a health potion and knock an arrow. I assume you two are following Lance? Yep. Great. You enter a courtyard. Everything is ablaze. On the other side, you see a minotaur, and he notices you. He turns, and in a low, gravelly voice says, And who might you be? Your worst nightmare. We'll see about that. Roll initiative. 17. 21. 13. Okay, the Minotaur goes first. He charges 20 feet toward Lance and does a gore attack, which deals 23 damage. Ow, I'm swinging on him. Uh, Before you do that, everybody give me a will save. 16. 18. 12. You all feel a disturbance in your minds. A feeling of impending doom. Uh... Can I still attack? Not at the moment. In fact, the disturbance has grown so overwhelming that the three of you completely forget about the Minotaur. I got a 19 to detect magic. It's not so much magical as it is spiritual, but you definitely hear voices in your head, and they're casting seeds of doubt. I got a 25 on perception. Do I notice anything in the physical world around us? You hear a door burst open. Wood splinters and flies everywhere as a figure emerges from the shadows. It's a woman wearing sweatpants and a shirt that's four times too large with the words live, laugh, love written on it. She's wearing slippers and way too much makeup. The back of her head is shaved for some reason and her bangs swoop down the left side of her face. She stares you down with cold dead eyes. Does the Minotaur see her? Actually, the Minotaur is looking around nervously and backing away slowly as if he's trying to flee. Uh, I'm going to call out to her. Uh, Ma'am? I don't think it's such a good idea to be out in the open. Her head spins around a la Linda Blair in The Exorcist. She marches up to you. Who's in charge here? Well, it's uh, hard to say. We're all pretty high level. But if I had to guess, I'd say the Minotaur. The Minotaur looks at you with pleading eyes. And in an instant, the woman is in front of the Minotaur, unleashing a lengthy diatribe. A diatribe? She's just like yelling at him? Should we go? We should go. The Minotaur wails as his ears and eyes rupture with blood. His body goes limp and falls to the ground. She turns to engage you. Well, I'm running. Her hair grows rapidly like vines. It approaches you and attempts to grapple. Everybody give me a deck save. Eight. Three. Six. As you reach the exit of the courtyard, her hair wraps around your feet. You're all three dragged back toward her, and she lifts you up to eye level. Nice. I got an 18 to attack her hair vine things. Does that hit? Roll damage. Uh, 14 damage. You slice through to freedom. She begins screaming again. Who's in charge here? Which one of you is the manager? We're traveling adventurers. We don't have a manager. Then what gives you the right to come into my village? Who asked you to do this? Well, if we didn't come, the whole town would be destroyed. You know, because of the monsters. We're trying to kill? Well, you could just explain that to the captain of the city guard. She pulls a small metallic item out of her purse. I have his home phone number. I cast de-escalate situation. Ma'am, listen, I'm really sorry things got out of hand. I'm sure there's some way we... The woman pulls out a mug of coffee and throws it in your face. Take eight points of scalding damage. Oh, I know. I reach into my handy haversack. Here. This is a coupon for one free bounty. Do you have anybody you'd like to see disappear? Perhaps an (laughs) ex-husband? Her eyes burst into flame. And what makes you think I have an ex-husband? You know, because of the way you are. The woman stares daggers at you. Literally. Daggers fly from her eyes and do 22 piercing damage. I'm going to lose an arrow of self-reflection. 20. What's it do? It's a DC 17 fortitude save. She fails, she realizes the error of her ways, and she apologizes. Interesting. It's ineffective, and now she's just pissed that an arrow has torn her favorite shirt. I cast Scorching Ray on her dumb f***ing face. Still furious with Waylon, she can't avoid the ray. It's a hit. 21 damage. She stumbles backward, bewildered. It's go time. I'm going to charge forward and swing. 
24? That's a hit. You slice your axe across her skull. And as you do, she shrieks, and you notice that her hair moves a bit, like it's crooked or something. You guys, that's no haircut. That's a helmet. That's, That's where, where she, she derives, derives her power. power. I'm going to loose an arrow at her head. I cast Thunder Wave. I'm just going to punch the hell out of her. The ferocity of the combined attacks levels the woman. Her hair flies off of her head. Your assumption was correct. Now that her helmet is gone, she looks weak and feeble. Aw, oh, man. I kind of feel bad now. I don't. She had it coming. Well, what do we do now? Well, I heard there's a dude being a real chad in the next town over. Oh, let's go. Give me will saves first. 17. 19. Mm. Five? Okay, Sarah and Waylon, you start walking. Lance, as you follow, you begin hearing the voices again. They're pulling you back toward the helmet. You stare at it longingly. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. You try to shake it, but the pull is too strong. Against your own will, you pick up the helmet and put it in your haversack. Ooh, I don't like where this is going at all. Actually, that reminds me. Do you want to DM next week? Really? Sure. Why not? D and D swag, twenty D twenties in my dice bag. I chase gold till I catch it. Price tag is that white flag from the DM. Wouldn't want to be them when I'm in. Did the max for the win? D and D swag, twenty twenties in my dice bag. I chase gold till I catch it. Price tag is that white flag from the DM. Let the betting begin when I'm in. Did the max. Y'all can find me at the table ready and able to role play. OP, I'ma be power gaming the whole way. Apex predator patrolling for prey. Components and material. I just read what the scrolls say. Ole, fast track to the boss lair. How many people I gotta be telling I got them up in my crosshairs?